Well, Kev, um, thank you for joining us. You've announced your, your next challenge in aid of research and raising money for MND. Could you just talk us through what you're doing? Yeah, I'm going to run from uh, the Mattioli Woods um, Welford Road Stadium, Leicester Tigers. She's my new employee. Back to my old employee um, at the Emerald Headingley Stadium, Leeds Rhinos. So Leicester to Leeds. In 24 hours, it is, well, it was planned to be 100 mile. It's now turned out to be 101. Hence why we've called it the extra mile. But it'll be broken up. It's a combination of two challenges running 101 miles with trying to run 7K an hour, every hour. Um, but within that hour, whatever time it takes, we'll then get the rest of that hour to recover and change and do the bits we need to do before we go again. So... 24 lots of 7k, 101 mile. And I think most people probably know the story by now, but this is all for your mate Rob, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, you know, Rob got diagnosed um, probably about 22 months ago now, 20 months ago. Um, and since then, you know, the whole sport of rugby league has, has come out and shown how much they care and love about Rob. And as a former player and teammate of his um, it's important we do the same so um, he's a good friend um, I absolutely know he'd do it for me and for any of us who were part of that team and it's important we continue to show him how much we care about him but also we continue to show the rest of the MND community how much um, how much love and care we have for them too and I suppose in many ways trying to make a, a small bit of difference and, and do some good you did seven marathons in seven days last November. You blew your fundraising targets out the water. You got a fantastic reception nationally, you know, some brilliant media coverage. Did the response to that kind of spur you on to go and do another one? Um, I want to I say yes, because, you know, I'd probably be lying if I said no, but I want to say yes. But even if it hadn't done, I reckon we would still be here on the starting line ready to go in a month's time with something different. It might not have been what we've come up with this time, but um, we all really, really enjoyed last year, the team that took part. You know, we got so much from it. And, and if we'd have just hit our target of 77,777 last year, we'd have been over the moon with it. We'd have been delighted with it. And that would have absolutely spurred us on to go again this year, I think. We might have been a bit moralised if we'd not hit the target last year. Uh, but to do what we did, and then just to see the hope provided to so many people there, um, through what has been such a difficult 18 months, two years for everybody, um, has been fantastic. And we all felt like the River it, man. And, and you know, we're, we're really happy to go again. You know, we've made a patron of the MND Association, and it means a lot to me, and it means a lot to so many people, as you've seen as well. They've been inspired by Rob's story and the journey that him and the family have been on. And, we're just trying to do our bit. The, the fundraising part of it is obviously hugely significant. You raised a lot of money last time around, but how much of this is also about just keeping MND in the public consciousness? Yeah, ab absolutely. It's, I think the awareness that was generated and, have gen and has been generated by so many people has been wonderful. And, you know, when I meet families now, we've been challenged by MND who were previously ashamed um, because nobody knew what it was and uh, and actually people didn't want to leave the house because you know they're facing these horrific challenges every day and but suddenly now they're, they're more than happy to say they've got the rubber or disease and they're more than happy to carry on with life because there's a bit more of an understanding and appreciation of what they're facing and what they're going through and I think that's been really important for us um, but as you say it's the funds that make a difference, whether we like it or not. The pounds and pence mean that research can be pushed forward and we can try and find a cure sooner rather than later because um, um, this disease is causing destruction and devastation, devastation across the world, especially in the UK, and we've got to try and help. So 101 miles in 24 hours, which when you just say it out loud sounds a bit ridiculous. You, obviously, your last challenge, a massive feat of endurance, but 
How are you preparing for the differences in this one? Obviously, you're not getting an overnight rest and you've got to work out when the best time to refuel is and, you know, when to put your foot on the gas, so to speak, and when to ease up. Yeah, if I'm being honest with you, you know, probably winging it a little bit. Um, you know, I've, I've read up over the last couple of weeks while we're still firming this up. Um, you know, I've, I've read things like it's 16 times harder than a marathon um, to jump from marathon distance, which is the furthest I've run, um, up to doing 100 mile. You should have 69 months of training. Now, um, clearly, um, we're not giving ourselves 69 months. We've got a month to get ready. But also, my answer to that would be, you know, people are getting diagnosed daily with motor neuron disease and some of them are only being given 69 months. So the, we can't wait 69 months to train. We've, we've got to move now and try and, um, try and get things moving and, and show people how much we care sooner rather than later. So um, we, uh, you know, some of it will be crossing our fingers and open for some the weather to be kinder to us during that, you know, that those dark November nights. Um, but ultimately, we're just going to go and have a crack at it. And I think, you know, we understand that people with MND are going through some pretty dark times. And hopefully by seeing this challenge, they see that, you know, people, because they care, are going to go to that dark place too. A very different dark place, I might add. But I will to go there when there's some unknown and some uncertainty. And, willing to put the bodies through it just to show um, how much they care. Last year, you had a fair few of your old Leeds Rhinos rugby league teammates chipping in and doing stints, helping out. Have you roped any of, the, any of them in yet for this one? Not yet. Not yet. Um, look, I have no doubt that um, they'll be putting their hands up at some stage. Um, there's certainly no pressure from me. Um, the great thing about this is it's combining two rugby codes and probably two of the biggest clubs in the UK, you know, Leicester Tigers and, and Lee Rhinos, are, you know, two of the best supported clubs. So um, to get both sides involved is incredible. Um, Leicester Tigers have been fantastic since I joined. The support I've had um, from everybody has been wonderful. And I have no doubt that, you know, there'll be one or two run a couple of stages from Leicester and hopefully there'll be one or two run it from Leeds. So um, the difference this year there were massive COVID restrictions when we did the 7-in-7 seven and, seven and we're hopeful that we don't have to face those again this year. We know it's another month off. We know what the COVID numbers are doing currently, but we hope that people can get involved and support and um, don't have to this year just beat their arms at us or open the front doors to see us. They can actually come and meet and greet and, and um, because every start point is going to be every hour, People will know where we're starting and we can advertise the route this time and, and hopefully people will come out and and um, give us a bit of a cheer and really drive us on. Kev, we've all followed Rob's journey since his diagnosis. We've also followed your journey and plenty of other Leeds players and people that have put their hand up to, to raise money and help Rob. But I just kind of get the impression from what I've heard you say previously in speaking to you today that you and the other people that were involved in that Leeds team, some of the people around Rob are just going to keep on doing things like this until a, a cure or a treatment is found. Yeah, we, we just have to keep fighting. We have to keep going. There's, you know, Rob is the inspiration and the driver behind all this, but you know, I've met so many other people throughout the UK who are challenged by this disease and their families and um, we've got to try and help. And, you know, on the, on the back of... So some of the work we did last year, um, got made a patron of the MND Association, it's something I'm really proud of. And you know, I'll continue to do what I can to try and help. And um, yeah, I think the club have been magnificent. We've obviously got another club involved now, albeit a rugby union club, and and one that has been wonderful towards me and and have been has been very, very supportive of of this right from the start. And um, you know, I can't thank them enough for it as well. So we'll keep going, we'll keep banging the drum. Um, we'll keep doing what we can. Must be when you are in a, in a dark place and on these challenges, it must be quite easy to just kind of dip into thinking about the strength that Rob's shown throughout his battles and just keep going. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it does, it flashes through your mind, especially um, you know, during the 7 and 7, there were moments where you know, I found myself emotionally 
pretty exhausted with it because you spend a fair amount of time thinking about him and, uh, and what you're doing and why you're doing it. And, um, you know, the beauty of that is when you're in a team, people pick you up when you have those tough moments. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting out there with that team again. They were wonderful last year. And we've got 24 hours together and I'm sure the banter will be flowing. And um, But I'm sure that you know, we all fully understand why and what we're doing it for. And, you know, I love to think that, you know, Rob will have a big smile on his face like he did last week when I told him we were doing the challenge, he burst out laughing. So, you know, to give him something to laugh about and smile about is is wonderful. And, you know, I, I hope that we're able to see him on the route at some stage. OK, just before I let you go quickly, just run through pe how people can support and help raise money for this. Yeah, there's um, a new fundraising page that's been set up. Um, you know, people have already started supporting it, which is wonderful. So, look, any, any pennies, pounds um, are greatly appreciated. I can guarantee that every single penny is going towards MND. And um, the funds will be split 50 50 between the Rob Burrow Care Centre that will be built in Leeds and with the MND Association. And, you know, we had a say last year in exactly how that. That money was spent that was raised from the seven in seven and um yeah i can truly say it is going to make a difference well kev it's an incredible thing you're doing mate and best of luck and i hope it goes really well thank you very much